Thank you for staying with us here at Champion News Talk Radio, brought to you by ChampionNews.net. This is Carol Parisi, our founder, Jack Roser, and myself have uh, Bob Bedner with us today. And the last thing we said, Bob, was boots on the ground, knocking door to door. Boots on the ground means that we get our message delivered. But why, why is that so important? I mean, you know, there's radio, there's televisions, there's signs, there's the That's internet. for rich folks, the Democrats. <laughs> you know, when... Um, but the internet's free. When, when you watch television, like in the last week of a campaign, mm -hmm. and you get inundated during the 10 o'clock <laughs> news, and, and there's literally 14 different commercials, and sometimes the same candidate will have three of those. Mm -hmm. I think that just becomes one big noise, and people big don't noise. listen to it. Yep. Same is true of letters. Uh, Oh. Way too much of it. Uh, there, there's a know, thing about, you know, when you get to the point where you're, let's say, 60 to 75 days out, most voters have made up their mind. They like a candidate. They've been, they, they've been listening to the message, and they say, that message is what I believe in. I like what I'm hearing. I want to follow that. And all of the stuff that happens in the last week or the last panic 10 days of a campaign... You get, that's you get getting out the promising vote. Stuff that, that's getting out the vote. Some of it's getting out the vote. You need but, to call those people that you walked on those walk lists. Mrs. Brown, you said to me that you were showing up for, you know, this AB, uh, ABC. And are you, you're, you haven't gone and early voted yet. Are you going to be there? Is there something we can do? Can we help take you to the polls? Things this, like that. What, what you just demonstrated was exactly what, the we Democrats did. in some areas do oh, really I well. I know. There are, there are precincts and there are, there are whole townships out there where they get the early vote out. Mm -hmm. they got to do they, that we did because that. Uh, they got the jobs. They got the jobs. Yeah. Yeah. They got Political the jobs, jobs and they got the, the, jobs they got the paid labor for. that can go out there and deliver Well, they that. pay. They pay to do it. But you know what? Either way, we're going to pay. We're, we're going to pay our taxes to pay them to do it, or we're going to pay with our liberty and freedom. So we have a choice. We're I think uh, we've got a better demonstration here. Um, Bob was already a, a good Republican, mm -hmm. aware that we got a, a good platform mm -hmm, of values. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, it's pretty much the same values were in his head that the Tea Party people are now our founders' values and all and doing. Uh, Bob's a good Republican, mm -hmm. and uh, he's uh, step in step with the Tea Party people exactly. who are a new addition to the Army. There just weren't enough uh, Republicans out there that were really doing the work. The people at the top of the Republican Party didn't give them any inspiration and sound. I mean, there was way too much cooperation and Cass's statement about the bipartisan culture of sleaze. Mm -hmm. There's no mm -hmm. doubt about the Democrats have made uh, Illinois the big crooked state of them all, but there are way too many people on the top end of the Republican Party that sucked along in the draft and uh, cooperated with, these, uh, with the crooks or the merely uh, exploiters of the political life and taxes that the Democrats have got experts at and were the teachers union uh, has exploited so much. Uh, our taxes have been increased hugely mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, in the in the uh, education system. Uh, $16,000 per child is way too much to be spending on an education. Money isn't doing it. Uh, but uh, that's the way it's been run by both parties. Principally, the Democrats have given us this bankrupt economy in Illinois. And along comes the Tea Party people and uh, as a lifetime Republican, I'm so glad uh, to see active people of principle added in that are becoming uh, people that will take over uh, as positions that they can take at the bottom end or at the top, mm -hmm. whatever they're suited mm -hmm. to fill. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, there's room in the Republican Party because that's the only vehicle to go and beat the Democrats. Yeah, no, the, you're exactly correct. It's the Republican Party is the only thing that is going to take Tea our Party country people back. have got to get in and take over precinct committeemen and, mm -hmm. and other posts and government, county, uh, county level, township level, and uh, bigger if they can do it. Now, if you look at the uh, uh, the last election, 2010, ACORN was out there. The community organizers mm -hmm, were out there. Mm -hmm. The union people were being paid to be out there. But I'll tell you what, you compare that with the Tea Party folks. And I was at one of Joe Walsh's events where it was a, uh, uh, a volunteer appreciation night. It was at a pizza restaurant in Lake Zurich. You were there, Bob. 
The place was packed. I've never seen any candidate put together an army like Joe did. This army had passion. They had the kind of passion that I don't care how much a, a, a community organizer is paid, <clears throat> mm -hmm. that you can't pay to get that kind of passion. Mm -hmm. And that translated into votes big time in 2010. That kind of energy translated into a victory for Joe Walsh. That's the real Tea Party. It, it isn't, as the press uh, calls it, a bunch of disorganized people. Uh, like these well, kids that are camped out, uh, those are rebels without a cause. They yeah, don't that's, know what they're that's doing. A, uh, not sure what the message is being delivered there. When when you listen to things on television, you you hear a different perspective every time they interview somebody there. So they they haven't gotten their message straight. What, maybe, the maybe Wall they Street will. Protesters? Yeah. Oh, that you know. You, you what? can't compare that to Tea Party. You know, Tea Party is a little <clears throat> different. You know, where where they've gone out and and they've either become candidates. Uh, Lenny Jarrett's <laughs> running for for mm -hmm. state senate. Uh, mm -hmm. in the uh, 31st mm -hmm. district. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Don Costellas, a longtime Republican like me, and, and he enjoys the Tea Party movement. He's running in the 30th Senate district, and he's taken on a major task in taking That's a That's a quality movement. man, Don Costello. I, I like nice Don. He, he's, a he's a great speaker. It's great enjoyable guy. to hear him. Handsome Tremendous dog, dialogue on issues and, <laughs> and what's going on at the state level. He's going to be great. Uh, Ari Friedman running in the 29th for Senate. Oh, Dr. Friedman is going terrific. to raise Super guy. the He's IQ the in the general. Yeah, 29. What district is he in? 29. 29th. Yeah, we're yep. talking a lot of politics Susan here, Garrett which we do, don't, don't normally do. Uh, oh, we don't? Organizational <laughs> politics. We're, we're talking like we know something about the numbers of the districts and all that. And I think we're learning. I think we've, I, I know that uh, I myself fell off the turnip truck. We, we put it together. We can run the table in 2012. You know what? We're going to run the table in 2012. Thank you.